What's going on guys, Blazing here, and today we've got another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we are going to talk about this lackluster of a fusion guide that they've given us. Um, it's bad guys, it's bad. Uh, I was worried that they were going to screw this up, and they have. Um, they've made this fusion just too, too difficult um, for about 99% of the players out there. I would say uh if you're a whale i mean you'll you'll blow right through it you have no problems but for the rest of the player base the free-to-play players i mean it's still achievable depending on how many resources you have depending on how much gems you have because that's what it's really going to come down to so uh there's a good thing that there's a content creator out there who uh gives out free gem packs every week uh, as long as you're sub to his channel you can uh win shameless shameless plug it but uh yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, we got Ice Golem and Dungeon Divers starting today. And usually we would be having a champion training or event or tournament paired with this, and we do. But the one that we have is for Olea's partner, Ulten. And um, it, they, they, it's very deceiving. Very, very deceiving. So you'll see at the end over here, there is two that you can get from the Dungeon Divers event. And I don't like this because they basically took out the champion training event and put that there. Um, it's really, really scummy of them, right? Usually we'd have either three of the dungeon divers or three of the arena or three of the artifact enhancement, but um, they've decided to throw two in the dungeon divers. So the end of this is going to be very difficult um so i'd even venture to say be careful around cbc and try not to blow too much it should not be a personal reward cbc so it shouldn't be that bad but you never know they haven't released anything we won't know until tomorrow but yeah uh getting into it we have starting friday Artifact Enhancement and Champion Chase Tournament. I would say if you're going for the Fusion, wait till tomorrow to see how bad it's going to be with the Champion Chase. It's 2x Void, so you have a better shot at getting the Champion needed, but um, there's still no guarantees, right? Um, then we have Classic Arena starting on Saturday, Fire Knight starting on Sunday, all the way to CBC on uh, Wednesday so uh, it looks like we'll be farming on Tuesday we'll be farming farming Fire Knight during CVC and then Wednesday we'll be farming Spider during CVC then on Thursday we'll be starting our champion training event most of that can be done in the tavern if you've saved up enough brews then we have the classic arena takedown on uh, starting Friday and then we have the summon rush where it becomes a problem because if it's anything like the previous fusion, we're looking at 10 sacred shards. So if you're not clearing Dew Tower, if you haven't been lucky with your clan boss drops, then you're going to need to pop some voids. And between now and then, there's going to be a lot of temptation, for a better lack of words. Um... You know, we're going to have CBC on Tuesday, and that falls on Valentine's Day, which means they are going to make you pull shards. Then they're going to put some crazy 2x, 10x type deals where you're going to like, oh my god, I need to pull, I need to pull, I need to pull. Resist the urge, guys. Resist the urge, especially if you're going for this fusion. Uh, tomorrow, do not pull all your voids. Pull what you need to get the champion maybe to get the legendary book as long as it's at a reasonable amount of points be prepared for the summon rush i'm really worried and i'm putting this out there and warning everybody that i'm really worried that they might even increase the points and if they increase the points um even though we're going to be pissed off they're not going to care because you've already invested so much you're going to spend that extra 10 or 15 or 20 dollars to buy some shards and that's what they really want you to do. So, or they'll, they'll make you do, uh, pull all of your ancients. Um, and I believe 
we should be having another guaranteed sometime soon. And the next one should be Ancients. Uh, so if you've been saving those up, uh, they're going to make you pull them. So, and then we have Artifact Enhancement that starts on Sunday the 19th. Then we have the Dungeon Divers again, overlapping with the Dragons starting on the 19th. And that's going to be very energy intensive because you have Dragon Tournament and then you're going to have to get two of the rares coming out of that fusion, right? And, um, uh, or out of that event, I'm sorry. And that's going to be very difficult. There, That's going to be a lot of points needed. Um, I would suggest you farm stage 20, not 25. Uh, it's a lot more energy friendly for the Dungeon Diver events. It's usually about one point to one energy. And then starting Tuesday, we have the Champion Training event, which ending with that isn't bad because you can really just do most of that in the Tavern. Uh, what I would suggest is, again, guys, if you have a Tomb Lord, a Bad Alcazard, um, even a, a Priest Orin, build them to solo stage 20. Uh, it's not as difficult for me to complete some of these fusions because I do have a solo build. And so when these fusions come up and they overlap the champion training events and tournaments along with like the Dungeon Divers and the Ice Golems and the um, Dragons and the Spiders, I can double dip those, double dip to triple dip those points. And it, it looks like they're trying to push us away from that, which is why they've done the fusion this way. Because at no point do I see somewhere where I can triple the points. Um, other than maybe towards the end where we have the Dungeon Divers, Dragon Tournament, and Champion Training. But to do all of that in one day, that is going to be a huge resource suck for um, me. You know, I would, I would probably have to drop about 1,000 to maybe 2,000 gems to get all that done just farming dragon unless i don't spend any energy from the end of spider tournament to maybe that tuesday um and then i have literally uh what is it 18 hour window to crunch all that energy in there and get that done so uh i'm not a fan that we can't get the epic wait wait right here um this epic cannot be obtained by uh this fusion event tournament usually we get one epic which allows us to kind of skip some um they're not letting us do it on this fusion so they let us do it on the last one and uh i think a lot of people went for pytheon uh he was a great fusion uh not a brogney level fusion but right 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 next to him um but yeah guys uh as always much appreciation for everything um be well be safe out there be good to each other and uh, if you're going for this fusion, good luck. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.